What are the 26 words? No provider or user of an interactive computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any information provided by another information content provider. And that so. means what in the English language? That means that if I were to post something about you on Facebook that was awful and defamatory and you actually had a viable defamation lawsuit, you could sue me, but you can't sue Facebook. Uh, what it says is that Facebook or any platform, whether it's a small community bulletin board to a massive social media site, has the ability to decide what to keep on their platform that users post and what to take down and how to set the rules of the road. Why was Section 230 necessary? So Section 230, to understand why it's necessary, you really have to go back to what the law was before Section 230, and that is what's the liability for distributors of content that others create. So before the internet, that was bookstores and newsstands. And the general rule was if you're a distributor of someone else's content, you're only liable if you know or have reason to know that it's illegal. So that worked pretty well for a bookstore. Uh, and bookstores usually were able to avoid being prosecuted for obscenity or sued for defamation. What does Section 230 do? So what Section 230 does is it says that if you're an online service, a website, any online platform, you are not treated as the publisher of someone else's speech. So if I go onto Twitter and I type, type a tweet uh, and it might be defamatory, it uh, might violate someone's privacy and they could have a claim, they could sue me, but they can't sue Twitter um, unless an exception applies. There are a few exceptions, one for federal criminal law, one for intellectual property law. But in general, uh, the platforms are not going to be held responsible for user content. And also, they won't be held responsible for their decision to restrict, edit, delete content, suspend users. Uh, it's very much a market-based approach because what Congress was thinking was, this is something the market could work out. So. Uh, if a service just did not do any moderation, the idea at least was that people wouldn't really want to go to it because it would be filled with garbage. Uh, or if a site did too much moderation, people might, consumers generally would say, well, I don't really want to use that site because they're deleting everything, so let the market decide. And that's very much what Section 230 did. But help me understand, the same is not true for other forms of media, if somebody says something defamatory on 60 Minutes or on Fox or CNN or in the New York Times, those organizations can be sued. So why not Google, YouTube, Facebook? Well, the difference between a social media site and let's say the letters to the editor page of the New York Times is the vast amount of content that they deliver. So, I mean, you might have five or 10 letters to the editor on a page. Uh, you could have, I think it's 6,000 tweets per second. And so Section 230 really recognizes how exceptional the internet is and says, we, we want to encourage this marketplace of ideas. Now, 25 years later, that marketplace has a lot of really great stuff, but it also has a lot of really terrible products in that marketplace. And that's really what's driving this debate right now. Was part of the reason for Section 230 to protect these fledgling internet companies so that they could grow back in 1996? Part of the intent was that this is a nascent industry uh, and there's so much potential there uh, in, in this industry that, that Congress, or at least the authors of Section 230, didn't want to overburden it with re regulation and litigation. So the idea was, let's take a very hands-off approach uh, rather than saying you're going to be sued to oblivion. We're going to let, let you decide what these rules are and let the market decide. Today, who's covered by Section 230? Anyone who operates a website or an app that allows any user content is going to be covered. So, I mean, obviously, w when people talk about platforms, they think of Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, but it, it also could be an, a small local news site that uh, allows user comments. So this protects not just the Googles and the Facebooks of the world, but also very small operators. Absolutely. If you're operating online, 230 is a shield. Yes.